Okay, so Roblox's generative AI is completely overpowered. Like, it's way more powerful than ChatGPT. It's not powerful enough for, like, to replace scripters. Like, you still need to know how to script to use this stuff. It's not going to make a game for you, but it's completely overpowered if you already have a game that you're working on. Because what it does is, it recognises the code patterns of the script that you're already working on, which ChatGPT can't do, and it will auto-complete what it thinks should go there. It will also get quite creative if you don't fill in some details. So I'll give you an example. If I were to... Like, every single one of these endings in my game, the fake gun ending, the kill ending, all these are in a list, and they all have their name. So the AI will recognise that there's a name, and then this table structure. So And then if I type the start of a new comment at the bottom, um, I'll do it here, um, it should make up a new ending, and then create this table structure with the code for the ending, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Just, you, need, you need to give it a second to generate, it's not like in the funny video. There we are. Kill ending. Simple as that. And this is actually a copy of the ending above because it likes to repeat things sometimes, but... Creativity part isn't the best, you kind of still need to be the creative person. It's not super creative, it might just repeat things that are above. But if I were to type like, spin ending, uh, and then it should just create the code for the spin ending. There we go, just generates the code, Carl chat, I will spin you, but you promise not to tell anyone. Then he, <clears throat> then he does a spin, and it stops spinning and stuff, yeah, so all you have to do is press tab and then it adds it in. Um, it also likes to keep going until it reaches the character limit, which it has done here, and then it kind of like, which can break the script, so you always have to get rid of like the, the junk. And it's done, it's even like made code comments and everything, so... Let's see if that ending works. That end, like, we literally just typed two words, spin ending, and it added in a completely new ending to this game. So let's see if it works. Game. Hey, player. I finally got my gun. Come check it out. Uh, let's see now. So it's in the code. Um, it says, it's, uh, what does it say? It says spin me. So you have to say, you have to type spin me. Um, and then Obviously, because we didn't voice like that. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Nice spin, thank you. You even destroyed the spin. <laughs> you spawn, he even does the ending screen and everything, so yeah, that's pretty epic. So yeah, when Roblox polishes this and actually releases it, because it's not a beta feature yet, it's going to be absolutely overpowered. And there's also some other AI features that weren't that that aren't just like custom materials and AI scripting that are, but um the Roblox hasn't officially revealed them yet. So I'm not going to officially reveal them either, because you like could get in trouble for that, you know. Uh, like I'm I'm not a Roblox employee or anything, I just enabled a flag in studio that allows you to get the AI stuff early. Hopefully that's um no problem. And obviously, if you do it as well, don't do it. Don't publish games that have like AI generated stuff in them because it could break the game. It's just for experimental purposes and it could crash or corrupt data at any time, so do it at your own risk. 